This is my uh, Sleeping Cowboy silhouette art. Uh, I made it from one sheet of uh, 5 8 inch plywood. Uh, what's unique about this uh, lawn art is that it's a pole that he leans up against is integrated right into the uh, body shape of the cowboy. I did that specifically so that attaching him to the fence post would be more reliable. So uh, I'll show you how I made this from scratch, including the uh, design of template that's coming up next. So the first step is to go and find your cowboy silhouette image. I did this by uh, doing a Google search. In the red circle in the top left hand corner you can see that I've in the Google window I've typed in cowboy silhouette and in the uh, with the green uh, circle top left hand cor uh, corner I typed the um, images option. Bottom right hand corner circled in the big yellow line is the cowboy image that I selected and uh, I had reasons for doing that. First of all, I liked it, but more importantly, I could um, build the post right into his body shape. So um, now I have MS Paint open, and in the top left-hand corner, I have my JPEG version of the cowboy having a nap. Now, uh, here's the issue. Um, he's only about two inches, and we want him to be six feet. So the first thing we want to do is enlarge him as large as we can get and fill my uh, desktop PC screen um, and it needs to all be in one screen and we'll look at how to do that now. Resize we'll try 400 and there he fills the screen. Now we'll save the file again. Make sure you save it as a JPEG so this is my 21-inch um, TV screen. Um, what started as a, about a 2-inch uh, JPEG image has now been enlarged to about 7.5 inches. Still a long ways to go to our 6 feet, but I'll explain that as we go along. So uh, in order to enlarge the image from about 7.5 inches uh, up to 6 feet, what we're going to do in the next step and the next step is to um, go to a, a website uh, and we're going to split the image into uh, five different parts. So the name of um, the website is uh, imagesplitter.com. Uh, I have it up here on my screen here. I'm sorry, it's called imagesplitter.net, as you can see in the top left-hand corner. So this is the opening page. Uh, right in the middle there uh, of the uh, page, there's an upload image. We're going to do that. Um, I put in my uh, cowboy image or uh, cowboy nap.png, which is the file I happen to save it as. So uh, we go on to, uh, and upload the image. Now there's the image sitting on the, uh, the palette uh, of our. Uh, cowboy having a nap and um, there's three different options in the top left hand um, page. The first option is convert and resize. That's not what we're here to do. We're going to go to the middle option, click on it, and that is call, uh, called split image. So uh, in the top left hand corner I inputted that I wanted to um, divide this cowboy into five separate parts and only one column. Um, that happened to be suitable for our needs. You may have to play with it for a bit. And then the, uh, to the right uh, in the top left hand corner uh, there's a blue bar, it's a split image um, and there's a pull down wim uh, window. We're going to save that file as a uh, JPEG. When you do that um, it's going to ask you to save the file, uh, which I did, and uh, it ends up uh, making five separate JPEG images. Uh, there they are um, listed in my file folder, um, but if we were to look at the icon versions of them, uh, there we have 
the uh, the cowboy image split into five separate parts. Um, the, the left hand uh, image, the first image is his head and hat. Um, the second image is his torso. Um, the uh, third image to the right is his uh, middle section and um, uh, proceeding on down to his uh, legs and finally his feet. And uh, that's what it looks like. So if we were to view each one of these JPEGs uh, on the screen, we would uh, have them, um, they would show up as being uh, about seven and a half inches tall on uh, my screen. So uh, we still need uh, to enlarge them to be twice that size. We're going to be uh, doing uh, that uh, enlargement by uh, projecting these five JPEG images separately onto a TV screen that's twice the size of the one that I'm using. I'm using a 21 inch TV uh, with my PC, but now we're moving over to uh, a 46 inch uh, uh, TV screen. Uh, and we're going to do our tracing that way. I'll show you that. In Next, we're going to talk about how to actually make the template. And I made my template out of a Bristol board, which can be purchased at any uh, stationary store, drug store. In this shot I'm uh, using the uh, program PC or uh, MS Paint 3D um, and projecting uh, one of the fragments of the uh, split up image onto my big screen TV and I have posted a uh, an appropriate size piece of bristle board over top of the image so the image comes through quite loud and clear because of the background lighting and uh, then I trace uh, the individual uh, uh, segment with a black magic marker and of course I repeat uh, it uh, five different times for each of the different segments here we uh, see um, I've just traced the uh, the bottom portion of it or his feet so when all five segments are completed, uh, here I've laid out the uh, bristle board on the dining room floor. And uh, you can still see the uh, the tape marks where uh, I had it up against the TV screen. Um, that didn't matter. Uh, laying to the top uh, left-hand corner is a pair of scissors. And I simply trimmed out each one of those individual bristle boards until I was finished. So when I was finished uh, with the scissors, uh, here the uh, the cowboys laid out uh, on the bristle board pieces uh, put together and laying on the dining room floor. Here you see uh, I've taken the uh, the bit of plywood and I put it on top of my coffee table. On the right hand side, I've clamped a two by four up against the uh, right edge of the um, the plywood sheet and then I've taken my uh, bristle board cowboy and pressed him up against the edge of the 2 by 4 uh, see the strategy of course here is to um, integrate a post for him to lean on up against a uh, the 2 by 4 and that'll be handy when it comes to um, mounting him on the uh, post outdoors so, uh, next step, of course, is simply to take a magic marker and trace around the edges of the bristol board. And uh, that's how you get the shape. So, in this uh, photograph now, um, the plywood uh, is now um, lined up with the outline of the cowboy. And uh, the... Uh, 2x4 on the right hand side has been removed off the face of the uh, the cowboy and placed on the uh, floor. So we're going to move outside now. So here we see my board laid out on the workbench in the backyard. As you can see I've drilled uh, holes in strategic spots around the board. Uh, the strategy here is that uh, when you use your skill saw or uh, jigsaw to go into individual uh, spots. It's an advantage to reach a, uh, a hole with the jigsaw and be able to pull the jigsaw out. That way you can uh, cut fragments of uh, the board out um, as you move along 
and it just makes it a lot easier. On the right hand side you can see where the big gap will be behind his uh, his thigh and there's two holes there so uh, that'll make it easier to maneuver. So uh, here I am now doing the jigsaw work. Um, the pilot holes as I said before are all laid out and I use those pilot holes to uh, get in and out of uh, of different uh, cuts uh, here I'm just about to um, cut off that one large piece and uh, and then now I'm into doing the, the detail around his face which needs a little bit of more uh, maneuvering and um, so on so the jigsaw portion of the project um, probably 30 minutes or so and uh, a little bit of patience again so so I've got the uh, board laid out on the table putting the uh, wood glue on in order to attach the 2x4 post there I am now just uh, putting in some wood screws to it and uh, now I'm going to flip it over and put some more wood screws on the other side that should make the uh, the post nice and solid there you see the uh, finished uh, raw product the cowboys laid out there on the grass I didn't talk about the lamp but that was another little addition I put on uh, because I had some space between uh, his hat and uh, the top of the board so I thought that was kind of cool to build in the lamp so the next step of course is just to uh, paint it I used uh, an undercoater sealer uh, for the first uh, two coats and uh, then two coats of uh, black paint and that should uh, keep him looking pretty good for a few years. So after the painting uh, I propped him up against uh, the uh, fence post um, so I drilled holes into the uh, the black post and uh, right into the uh, the existing fence post and that should keep him uh, pretty solidly attached.